In this video, I'm going to be discussing batch processing in image extract. There are three modes in the batch processor. The first mode is extract and edit. This will extract each image, and then it's going to pause for you to edit the image. And then when you hit continue, it will save the image and extract the next one, and again pause for you to edit. The next mode is Extract Auto, and this will just run the entire batch without stopping and extract all of the images. The last mode is Edit PSD Files, and what this is for is it will open up all of the PSD files in a folder that has already been extracted, and it will allow you to edit each one and then save when you're done. So what this is good for is you can run the first batch and have it save layered PSDs and that way you can walk away from the batch while it's extracting and then you can come back and do an edit PSD files batch and have it save as a single layer TIFF or PNG and that way you don't have to be in front of the computer in it each time while it extracts and the images are all ready to be edited so it's going to save you that seven or eight seconds between each image of having to wait for that extraction before you edit and there's two options you have. The first is to enable the, the color fixed layer, and this is what is meant to defringe the edges and fix the, the color bleeding on the edge. And if you're in extract and edit mode, when it extracts the image, you can actually change this. So this is just the default for whether it'll be off or on. But if you're in auto mode, this will it will save with this off or on depending on whether this is checked. And the last checkbox is the crop empty space. Now this is only for um, TIFF or PNG single layer, but this will crop off all of the excess space around your cutout. But if you're saving as layered PSD, it's not going to do that. And the reason for that is because when you're editing, you might need something to get brought back into the image that got erased like a an object or something. And so because of that, it's not going to crop in PSD mode. So I'm just going to do a demo of each of these. I'm going to start with the extract and edit. Save as a single layer TIFF. I'll just need to select a source and a save folder. So the source folder will be the folder that contains the images. I've just got a folder of three images here just to make it quick. The save folder will be where you save the images after they're cut out. All right, I'm just going to hit run here. So now it is extracting the first image. Once the image is extracted, I then have access to Photoshop with all of the tools and anything I want to do in the um, plugin. So I'm just going to grab the background eraser, and touch up this hair here, and then you can save the image and continue. You can also skip the image if there's an image that you don't want to save or stop the entire batch. So now it's just going to save that image and it opens the next one and extracts it. Then when this is ready, I'll be able to edit this. But in this case, it doesn't need edited. So I'm just going to hit save and continue. And finally, the last image in the batch. In this case, there's just a small piece of hair to touch up here. So really pretty quick and easy. So now I'm going to demonstrate the other workflow I was discussing where I'm going to um, extract auto, but I'm actually going to save this as PSD. Now when you're in auto, you can still save as a TIFF or PNG single layer, but if those need edited and there's something that got erased, you're not going to be able to get those back if it's single layer. So what I'm going to do is extract auto, have it save as PSDs, I'm going to save this in a different folder here. All right, I'm just going to hit run and it will automatically extract all of these without stopping. Okay, that's now completed. So for the last demonstration here, I'm going to run an edit PSD files batch. And this time I'm going to save as single layer TIFF. 
but what I'm going to do is that save folder where we saved the PSDs, I'm now going to use that as the source folder and I'm going to select a different save folder here. And then that source folder is going to be the folder that was the save folder from the prior batch and it's got the PSDs that were already cut out. I'm going to edit those PSDs and save as a single layer TIFF. So you see that that instantly opened the image and I didn't have to wait those seven or eight seconds for it to extract. So it's just ready for me to edit. And this is just a huge time saver because if you have a large batch, you don't always want to sit there and wait seven or eight seconds between each image for it to extract. That way you can just batch the entire thing and save as PSD and you can walk away and do something else while those are extracting. That way, when it's your time to come edit at the computer, everything is instant. It just pulls the images up. You do your little touch-ups, hit save, or if it doesn't need touched up, you just hit save and continue, and you can do a lot of editing very quickly. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned how to use the batch processor in Image Extract.